from them. And indeed, we have a lot of micro and small businesses in the fish valley chain. How do we empower those? And this brings us to our discussion this afternoon. Matters to do with the county business environment for MSEs, that is CBEM. Uh, and this is a framework that provides a tool for monitoring progress in improving the business environment for growth and survival of MSCs. In 2019, Kipra developed the first version of CBEM, covering four critical thematic areas that support growth and development of micro and small enterprises, including work sites and related infrastructure, market environment, technical capacity, and governance and regulatory framework. And also, to build on that, there is CBEM 2022. And to help us understand this, I'm joined by Dr. Rosengugi, who is the Executive Director at Kipra. Welcome to the show, Dr. Terry. Uh, starting off, this county business environment for MSE framework, what is it all about? What does it entail? Uh, thanks very much uh, for inviting me today uh, to talk about uh, uh, the county business environment uh, for MSCs. As you are aware, uh, MSCs um, uh, hold a very strong uh, proportion of uh, Kenyan economy. Uh, more than 80% of farms that have been established in Kenya they are actually uh, micro and small enterprises. Uh, micro and small enterprises also employ over 80% of uh, new jobs that are created every year uh, in Kenya. Uh, for that reason, uh, it's important to ensure that uh, MSCs have uh, an environment that facilitates them to grow and uh, to give decent jobs uh, to the youth and to also uh, various categories of Kenyans who are, em who are employed by MSCs. So as an institution, uh, seeing the critical need uh, for employment creation the critical need for poverty reduction and also for um, enhancing uh, welfare in general. We realize that um, in every county, just like you have shown uh, just now, uh, there are micro and small enterprises. And uh, for you to make uh, uh, a step forward, in uh, growing them, it's important that uh, we look at uh, uh, the environment within which they do their business. Okay. Yeah. And I'm glad this framework is very important because uh, counties, uh, you know, when it comes to devolved units, we are pretty young, to be honest, 2010. Uh, and looking at the counties, what are the benefits? First of all, accrued to... E MSCs, these micro and small enterprises, how will this framework help MSCs at the county level? Uh, thanks very much for that. Um, you know, for a long time, uh, we have had uh, uh, World Bank and ease of doing business. I'm very sure you are aware of that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what it, was fo it focuses on is uh, large farms and uh, medium-sized uh, farms, yeah? And of course, it does not uh, uh, take into account uh, all the counties. Uh, this framework that uh, Kipra has come up with, uh, first of all, it captures all the counties. So for the 47 counties, we are able to bring out uh, key issues that could be affecting uh, uh, the MSCs. And uh, it provides uh, county governments with uh, a criteria for uh, prioritizing areas that need intervention. Uh, because uh, without um, 
uh, interventions, you may find that uh, either you are putting a lot of effort in areas that do not necessarily make a major difference for the MSCs. Mm -hmm. So the key areas that uh, we have uh, uh, focused on is uh, asking ourselves, uh, for example, where do micro and small em en enterprises do their work? And therefore looking at uh, the work sites and how they are equipped. And then the next question we've asked ourselves is, uh, so when they do their business, when they do their production, where do they sell? Where is their market? And therefore we look at uh, the market environment uh, because um, uh, some statistics show that um, MSCs tend to trade among themselves and trading also within the locality that they are found. And that does not give them adequate space as far as the uh, market environment is concerned. Mm -hmm. The third question we also ask ourselves is um, uh, what facilitates you to move uh, your business uh, each day? Uh, and that's where issues of finance come in. So financial inclusion of MSCs uh, becomes critical because uh, without it, you are not able to buy your inputs. Mm -hmm. Without it, uh, you are not able to, you know, run the business as it is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Then the, third que the fourth question we ask ourselves is, uh, do you have the technical capacity available to help you improve your productivity, to help you improve uh, the quality of your product. I'm sure if you go to uh, Mudura area, you'll notice that uh, we have um, our uh, micro and small enterprises uh, doing uh, the Mabati uh, box. That has been there for a long time. Technology, are they actually embracing our technology? Mm -hmm. And then the third question that, uh, the, the fifth question that we are asking ourselves is, um, are there attempts by uh, micro and small enterprises to govern themselves better, mm -hmm. to have associations, to have cooperatives, and do they find that space helpful uh, for them to even uh, take up high orders? Can they uh, bring together, aggregate mm -hmm. the output so that they are able to move with the market? Mm -hmm. So. With those key questions, you can see the, um, the, the key aspects that policymaker would have uh, in doing um, interventions uh, that would focus the uh, attention to micro and small enterprises. Definitely. Yeah. And it's spanning over 47 counties. These counties differ, have different needs. So the findings is customized to that particular county. The next step now, we, we, we have this particular framework in terms of implementation. Does the power now lies uh, with the counties to take this up? Is there some form of uh, framework sort of to lead them to implement some of these key findings that you find for specific counties? Uh, first of all, we need to understand uh, the different roles that uh, national government mm -hmm. and county governments uh, do. And um, like now, uh, with the new government, you know there's a proposal to come up with uh, a ministry uh, of cooperatives and, and uh, small and, and micro enterprises. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What that uh, will entail is to give uh, a national look into what the governments want to achieve uh, with the micro and small enterprises. Uh, looking at uh, policy uh, dimensions, yeah, that uh, will also be cascaded to the county level. Mm -hmm. But we also know that at county level, there are those aspects uh, that uh, will entail uh, interventions eh, because of the devolved uh, system of or the devolved uh, functions eh, mm -hmm. that are already there. But a lot of it you'll notice is uh, the need for uh, the national government to do a lot. For example, if we are saying that uh, the work sites don't have uh, uh, internet, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm very happy that uh, one of the one of the um, interventions that is coming up is a, uh, a digital superhighway, uh, which I'm hoping that uh, it will be able also to support uh, the MSCs in whichever sec sector, uh, whether in manufacturing, whether in agriculture, uh, the support will be there. But at the county level, there are also things that the counties do. For example, licensing. Uh, the fee the, the, that they collect from uh, MSCs, okay. how would they reduce the cost of doing business right. uh, for, the, for the MSCs? Yeah. Definitely. Very mm. important to understand that role. And I'm glad that there's a whole ministry to cater for MSCs, MSMEs. Uh, mm. This was a challenge. You're thrown left, right and center. Now that dedication, I think it will be very important. But I'm glad, um, of course, collaborative effort to come up with this particular framework. Uh, uh, you keep right leading the way. I hope that counties will take in and suck in and sort of implement some of these frameworks for the betterment of MSMEs. Uh, Madam Edi, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. We need to empower our micro and small enterprises. And how we do that? We start at the policy level, look at the challenges in the environment they operate in. And this data, actually you Google Kipra, uh, go to their website, you find the breakdown for the specific counties. Look at your county. What are the concerns for MSEs in that particular county? And what are the proposed you know, ways of bettering that? You'll find definitely on the county business environment for MSEs framework, uh, courtesy of Kipra. This particular moment, you take a short break, we'll return with more.